Upset? No. Surprised? Yeah. As the Penguins were trying to clear as much cap space as possible, Jack Johnson was placed on waivers for the purpose of a buyout, in case you didn't know, cause um, Johnson's apparently Twitter's favorite trending topic right now. Anyways, while we all pretty much knew Johnson needed to be moved, whether it be through a trade or buyout, it's definitely been a pleasant surprise for most that Jim Rutherford actually went through with it. While this does sort of redeem him, the Mike Matheson contract that's now in the books is still a huge head scratcher. Looking at his stats right off, for a guy that's going to likely be on the bottom pairing, 27 points in a season isn't too bad. What's concerning is the actual contract itself, as it appears to be very backloaded. Meaning, at the beginning, for the cap, it's not that awful, but if Matheson is held onto and kept past the season, he could be the next Jack Johnson in Pittsburgh. So yeah, while JR has obviously made the right move here with Johnson, and probably had a plan all along, it's almost like a one-for-one one here. As Matheson, if still in a Pittsburgh uniform, is set to be making $6.5 for the last three consecutive seasons seasons of his contract, which is a heck of a lot of money to pay a bottom pairing guy in his 30s, if you ask me. And the actual buyout itself, well, <laughs> as you can see, the Penguins are willing to pay money to ensure that Johnson isn't on the ice. Also, for a final tidbit here, I thought it was a little hopeful, production-wise anyway, while making the Johnson-Matheson comparisons. Looking at Matheson's shot percentage, which was a 7.7 .7 last season, and the 6.2 the season before, compared to Johnson's 4.8 and then 1.16, yikes! Matheson seems to be slightly more offensively inclined, with 16 goals in the past two seasons, compared to Johnson's 4 with Pittsburgh. So while Matheson's contract will suck later on, keeping him for a short time, sort of as a temporary band-aid, before his modified trade clause kicks in, might not be as terrible as we all thought initially. As for Johnson, I, like most of the fan base, indulged in ripping the guy on his performance, but in all actuality, he's not a bad person. He's just kind of bad at hockey. To summarize, Jack Johnson is a terrific American citizen. He's got some sick, sick moves. He's the coolest Wolverine you know. Jack Johnson logs all the minutes for your favorite team.